Okay. Hi everyone, I have just done a video, it's on there now, it's on YouTube at the moment on my channel, Mark Davis, if you'd like to have a look at it, on how to wire one of these switches up, these, these Chinese switches or whatever you want to call them, I don't mind, There, it's a five way gang with a voltmeter, a cigarette and two USB ports, okay, and wired it up and I'll show people how to do it using a bus bar, an earth bar. But I keep getting asked, they want to use one of the switches as an isolation switch. In other words, so this isn't permanently live. Now, I've had a look at some combinations around it, and I'm just thinking, oh, let's have a think, let's have a think, let's have a think. And I'm rattling my brain like Billio, and I've come up with a solution. I think the easiest way to do this would be to buy another rocker switch. doesn't have to be this one. You can buy them exactly the same as these. So when you're mounting this in your box, let me just show you. If you were to mount it like mine in there, if you made it, if you pushed it across this way a little bit more over here or whatever, or underneath, or made a little bit of room where it'll even fit in there, or even at the side of the box, you could mount an extra switch. And I think it's the easiest way to do it for an isolation switch. Let me just pop you back down. Right. So what I mean, I'm going to wire this up now. So this I'm going to use as an isolation switch. It's a three-way switch, okay? So we're going to look at the top part is negative. The bottom part is positive, And in the middle is your live switch. So when you switch it on, this becomes live. And hopefully this will become live. So I'm going to get everything ready. And I'll come back to you in a sec. Right, so coming into the switch, we have a negative and a positive. These two are totally separate to these five, which I've shown in the other video. So this is your live coming in, and we need to connect okay, that. So to if we turn the switch around, you see you've got these two here. These are your negative and positive coming in, which makes this switch live. So we're not going to use them. So what we're going to do is use this switch. We want to make this live. So coming in from my main battery, if I don't disturb you, is two leads. Negative and positive, and that's coming from my battery just inside the cab. So what we do with that, we put the red to the live, okay, and the neutral to the neutral, and then this switch should be live. There we go. Okay, the switch is now live, but it's not doing anything. It's just, it's just switching that light on and off. The other component in this switch is the middle one. The middle one is the live. So what we do then, we get the live from this switch and we push it carefully without touching the others on to that. Of course, you'll have sleeves on these. You'd, you'd put a sleeve on it so, so it wouldn't hurt. Okay, so that's our, right, so there we go. So switching this on, that's it happens. Still dead because we don't have a negative connected. Right, so if I push this negative, negative? If I put this negative on here, like so, switch that on, you can see that now the switch is live. Okay, so let's put the switch on live and turn off the isolation switch. Ooh, it goes off. So that's the general idea. Now I want to show you something else, so to make sure that it is, it is working properly. Now, you'd have to put these earths, probably you could take an earth from the bus bar into this and then connect this to the bus bar See what I mean? If you watch the other video, you will you will see how I, I've wired it up. So, what we need to do now is to make sure this works and it isolates uh, a light or a switch. So that's what we'll do now. Okay, so this is the light in the previous video. All right, we did. So what we do now is connect that to one of the switches. That's the live there to the switch. Okay, and now the negative is going to have to go to the same place. It's a bit crude, this, by the way. So these two now negatives, one from the light and one from the switch panel has got to go to this switch. Now remember, you can use the bus bar. So all these negatives can go to the bus bar and then one negative, one negative from, let me show you, one from here could then go to this switch. Okay, so you haven't got to cram them all in. I just want to show you for demo purposes. So if I touch that on there, and hold that on there. So we've got a negative going to the switch. We've got a negative going to the switch, which controls the switch panel. And that should come live, okay? And then with this, you turn them all off. And then look, see if you've got that voltage there. If you turn it off, 
we've now isolated that switch panel all right so nothing works and that's what someone was asking me if i could isolate the panel separately i, I understand um, but using one of the switches really is a bit it's a bit i'm trying to figure it out if i do i'll let you know i'll do another video but if you can just get an isolation switch i'll put a link in the description where you can get one of these from so if we put it on now the switch is live and that tells you it's live and then each switch is live as well and that's what we wanted okay got it i think you have yeah so live to the switch negative to the switch or 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 to a bus bar and then from the bus bar to the switch you've got to have that sort of in between the only reason why i'm saying that because all these are live then you can connect anything you want i.e this light via one of these switches which is on accessories that makes it live but if also you've got to ground or earth or whatever you want to do this switch either back to the battery to a, a metal which is in the which is in the car if you're going to use in a car if you're going to use in a boat it's fiberglass you're going to have to use one of these if it's in something else a wooden boat you're going to have to use one of these or you're going to have to go directly back to the battery i think i've got that right so bus bar neutral from the battery from here to this switch from this can go to that as well this can go to that as well so this this negative can go to that this negative can go to that but you've got to have a negative going from this to the battery and then from here to this switch it's got to be earthed okay and then the live goes to the live switch so here we go there's a three-way switch all right let's just take them off for a second so on the three-way switch we have a negative it'll come with the instructions i think when you see it to one of them to the bottom usually and then you've got a live one to the top the middle one becomes live when the switch is activated which will then light this panel up and it becomes live when you either earth it to this you see the panel came live like so and they're all live and then if you wire your switch up as well that comes live as well i think i've got it pretty straightforward i hope that helps somebody because they did ask me to do it i have done it i hope this helps i would use an isolation switch on its own rather than using one of these it just makes life a lot easier all you have to do is just drill a hole near it or to the side pop it in and then that's your isolation switch okay i'll just show you the wiring again so okay battery in battery in live to the switch then all you gotta do then is put anything you want to wire live neutral back to your battery hopefully you can leave me a comment down below or a message i'll get back to you all right take care hope you enjoyed that one and we'll see you in the next one